What's up guys, John here and welcome back to John Moon Studios. In today's video, we're gonna talk about side chaining. I'm gonna show you two different ways you can side chain inside of Cubase. So let's get right to it. Okay, so I already have my pad loaded up and the kick that I'm going to use for the sidechain source. And let's go ahead and listen to it without the sidechain so we can hear the effect that it's going to take. Right, so we got a big kick and we have a pad that we want to add some side chain to that way it can get this sort of pumping effect. So the way the first way that we're going to do it is we're going to do it by using the compressor that Cubase brings. So the way that we reach that is we're going to go ahead and open up the bottom section here. And if you have it on editor, which shows you the MIDI or the piano roll, um, we're going to go and click here where it says mix console. After we click there, we're going to go ahead and click this E, which is editing the channel strip on the Omnisphere pad. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this and let me drag the screen back over here. And we're gonna hit where it says compressor. So here we have it on and now we're gonna go ahead and click the E again inside of the compressor to open up the module. So in here, this is where we're gonna do our side chaining. So all we need to do is click on this little button right here that activates the side chain. And in order to add the source, we're going to hold option on our keyboard. And this is for Mac. I'm not sure what the Windows version would be, but if you hover over it, it should tell you which um, key to press. So we're going to hit option, hold it, and then you're going to click. And then it's going to say add a sidechain source. So it doesn't matter if it's a MIDI source or if it's an audio source. It could be anything. I'm going to do kick here, and then that's it. You've already set up your side chaining so this needs to be white that's how you know it's activated and then when i press play again we're going to hear the side uh the side chain kick in make sure to lower the threshold far down enough that way it activates and let's see what we get Okay, so you can also mess with the ratio, which will give you an even stronger pulsing effect. So if I raise the ratio up, we're going to hear that it's going to be a more dramatic pulsing. You can then go ahead and mess around with any of the other parameters to get it to your liking. But this is how you do side chaining using the compressor that Cubase brings. Okay, so we're going to look at a second way to um, introduce this side chaining using the Pro C2 from FabFilter. So we're going to go back to our mix console here and we're going to click here where it says inserts. And on the pad, so my Omnisphere, I'm going to go ahead and add the Pro C2. One thing to keep in mind is when I open Pro C2, you got to make sure that it's VST3. And the way you figure that out is if it has these three slashes here. Um, VST2 plugins, um, at least the Pro C2 with the VST2, it won't work. You won't have this option to sidechain. So you need to make sure it's VST3. Just make sure it has these three slashes on it. So now that we're in here, we're going to go ahead and do the same process we did in the Cubase compressor, which is click this little button up here to activate side chaining. You're going to hit this gear and then you're going to add the source. So this menu should look just the same as the one before. And here we have our side chain input. Now what we're going to do is we need to open up the side chain menu here. And then from in, you're going to do external. So instead of in this one here, you're going to click external. If you don't click this, then you won't really get the effect. So you have to put an external and then again, you control with threshold and ratio and the attack release, how much of the pumping effect you want. So let's go ahead and play this. Right, and 
that's how you're able to achieve the side chaining using the Pro C2. All you need to do again is make sure that it's VST3 and then you click up here and then add your side chain source. A very, very important thing to remember, and I will repeat this again, is make sure that it's on external. If it's on internal, it won't hear it. Check it out. It ducks the signal, but it won't actually do the pumping effect. Whereas if it's an external, you get that pumping effect. So that was a quick tutorial on how to use side chaining inside of Cubase. So if you use things like Pro C2, which is a very popular um, plugin that a lot of producers have. And if you don't have that and you want to use something that's inside of Cubase already, then you can go ahead and use the channel settings in the module here. If you have any questions, please drop your comments down below and I'll get to them as soon as possible. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the ring button so you don't miss any of my new videos. Also, don't forget to check out the John Moon Studios store. I have a variety of merch with the official John Moon Studios logo on it, so go pick that up now. Also, I'll leave down below in the description a link to my Patreon for just a dollar a month. You can help support the channel as these videos do take time and effort to make, and I would greatly appreciate the support as always don't forget to share with your musician friends i will see you guys soon